Perlis is the smallest state in Malaysia and also the northernmost. It borders Thailand in the north and the state of Kedah in the south. It's an eco-tourist dream destination. It's got beautiful, amazing scenery. It's rustic, it's quiet, it's serene. And it's the perfect getaway for those wanting to escape the hustle and bustle of city life and reconnect with nature. Perlis used to be part of the Siamese kingdom. So there's some Thai influence in its food and you can get Thai food in Perlis, but with a Malaysian touch. It's also famous for ikan bakar or grilled fish and also for its use of sticky rice in a lot of its dishes. We are in Perlis in the northern state, uh, our northern state which is situated in the northern part of the Malaysia, yeah, near the border of Thailand. And again, in Perlis, there are a lot of natural uh, attraction. Now, grilled fish in Malaysia is pretty common, um, but the recipe is very depending on which part of Malaysia you're based. This one here is from Perlis, and I've just made this, and I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. Give it a shot. Okay, we're going to make ikan bakar, grilled fish, perlis style. This is a recipe I came across that I couldn't pass up and it's unique because it uses ingredients like butter and also condensed milk in its marinade. So let's get started. I've got a fish here. This is a barramundi, Aussie barramundi that's just sliced down the middle. Any fish you like will work apparently. We are going to get some butter. One or two tablespoons of butter, bit of pepper, bit of salt or if you like, you know my love affair with chicken powder, salt or chicken powder, and some turmeric. I'm using turmeric powder, you can use fresh turmeric if you like. We're going to mix this up with a bit of oil. And let's spread it on the fish. Now we're going to cook the fish and I'm going to do that in one of these pans. I'm going to cover it. And while it's cooking, we're going to make the dip. Now, so the dip, this particular recipe anyway, again, has a little bit of an unusual twist to it. It uses some Chinese and some Thai ingredients. It uses oyster sauce, and also it uses usually Thai sweet chili sauce. I don't have any Thai sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna be using a Malaysian chili sauce, okay? The bottle variety. So I've got some fresh chili here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to combine the chili. I'm just going to crush it a little bit. And I've got some crushed onion here. You can get a whole onion and dice it, or I just happen to have some crushed onion on hand. I'm going to add also some chili paste, and I've got some tomato here, okay? Usually you would use fresh tomato. This was fresh tomato that I had to use out, so I just kind of like toasted it in the oven a few days ago and stuck it in the fridge before it went off. And I've got some tamarind juice here, but what we're going to do, these ingredients, we just want to mix them up. Fish smells incredible already. Let's turn it down a little. So back to the dip. Tamarind concentrate. It's a mixture of onion, tomato, chili here. A bit of lemon juice or lime juice. A bit of oyster sauce. And some bottled chili sauce, okay? Sweet chili sauce. And belachan, if you've got belachan, shrimp paste, or you can add a little bit of salt to it. So I've got a bit of belachan in powder form. I'm going to add this to it. It's going to add a bit of salt and sugar. Let's have a look. It's nearly done. Just gonna baste it a little. Have a go making it. Pretty straightforward ingredients and it doesn't take too long at all.
you should come and visit the Wang Kalian viewpoint. On the colder day, if you are there, you will see thick white clouds surrounding the hill and uh, not only that, you will also get a good panoramic view of, of the town of Pelis. The attraction, natural attraction there is awesome. All right, somewhere deep in the middle of nowhere in Perlis, <laughs> and we found a stall here right by the road selling chicken, fried chicken. Nice. The sign says one ringgit, which is like <laughs> 20 cents US. Amazing. Let's check it out. And uh, yeah, Perlis is pretty beautiful. Look at this. This is the most northern state in Malaysia. Paddy fields, green, so green everything. And uh, yeah, let's check out one ringgit chicken stall here right by the road let's see hello hi apa yeah. kabar ah ayam yeah. ayam goreng yeah. satu ringgit yeah. ah okay okay uh, is it um uh, hot uh, panas uh, little bit yeah. okay uh, how much do we want uh, i think you and i can go for the la pen what is the la pen the la pen is eight eight yeah why not you want eight Want How many do you want? Want, to, want to try one first? Okay, he said, try he, he said one. it's warm. 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 Ah, yeah. oh, what else is he selling? Oh, this is ayam cheese. Ayam cheese? Yeah. Ah, with, uh, with cheese on top. Yeah. Ayam keju. Yeah. But everybody yeah. here says ayam cheese. Ayam cheese. Yeah. Not cheese. Not ayam keju, Good which one. is the, the Malaya word for it. Uh, and this one? Apa ini? No, no, no. Same. no? Ah, same, same. 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 Um, can, I, can I have satu? I would just I want, want to try one first. I want to get eight. <laughs> yeah. like, what? What's this one here? Yeah, I want eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you get eight right away? You want to think I'm crazy? Yeah, eight's good. Can you hold it? Sure. I, I will try it first. I'm, I'm pretty sure I like it. I had roadside chicken here before. Always good. All the food in Malaysia is good. Okay, I will try it. Okay. You can be my taste tester. <laughs> if I'm going to fall off, <laughs> die from the chicken. All right. Mm, yeah, very good. good. It's a little bit cold. That's okay. Okay, more. <laughs> Get up. My favorite place of uh, visit is Bukit Kateri. Yeah, if you're interested in uh, rock climbing, uh, this is a place to go and uh, one of the best police attraction yeah, for you to, to 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 visit. There is a good. Parano paranoic view of the surrounding places which is even better if you are there during the sunset. Hi, my name is Rosita Heilek from Frankfurt, Germany. Today I'm going to be cooking some pearly specialty which is the northwestern state in the peninsula Malaysia. And one of the dishes is nasi ulam, which is rice with fresh herbs. And it's really, really delicious and it's very, very well known up there. And the other dish is a side dish called keladi asam pedas, or actually it's asam rebus. We have two names to it, so and it's really, really good. And um, watch and enjoy. So here are the ingredients that I will be using for the nasi ulam. Nasi means rice, ulam means fresh herbs. So these are the fresh ingredients that I could get here in Frankfurt, Germany. Obviously in Malaysia, you get other different kind of herbs. So I have here the kayang leaf, daun kesom, which is laksa leaf. This is a Thai parsley, mint leaf. I also added coriander, coriander leaves, small onions, galangal, red, fresh chilies, and very importantly, lemongrass. So all these items need to be chopped up really fine and mixed with the rice. Obviously, you will need rice, which I have cooked before. So this is, and once you chop up all the herbs, you mix it with the rice. In addition to all the herbs, we add roasted coconut, which is fried dried in the pan. Salted dried fish, which you fry beforehand and then uh, use the uh, pestle and mortar. This is how you do it. And of course, the last kit is our sambal belacan, which is made from fresh chilies and shrimp paste powder. So again, one of those, uh, you can use the pestle and mortar. 
for that to be mixed with the rice. So now we're going to mix all the herbs and its other items into the rice. This is the mint leaf. This is the Thai parsley. This is the laksa leaf. Notice they have to be chopped really fine. And this is the rawang leaf, kayang leaf, sorry. I did mention I added coriander leaf, although it's not very common, but it gives a good taste. These are the finely chopped lemongrass. Everything goes in easily. I didn't mention before, I forgot, it's the snake beans. This is also, this is also uh, something that I like because I like the crunch uh, in the rice. Basically, it's very flexible. So I've chopped that up as well. This is snake beans. Some places you can find, some not. And the small red onions. So all the herbs are done. Now I will add the dried salted fish, some roasted coconut, and last but not least, the sambal blachan or the chili with shrimp paste powder. So it depends on how spicy you like it. So I'm just gonna stop there and mix it up. Also season it with some black pepper. So it's done. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the kaladi or yam asam pedas or asam rebus. And the ingredients are here. Yam which I have peeled and cut into pieces and I have pre-boiled it. Also I have here dried tamarind, chili paste with uh, shrimp paste that and onions that I have grounded and this is the specialty from Perlis which is rice roasted dry roasted rice and you blend it or use the mortar and pestle to make it into a powder form which has to be added into the sauce and of course I will put some laksa leaf for flavoring and water because this dish is saucy it's spicy it's a little bit acidy which is really really delicious okay now i'm going to prepare the asam pedas kladi first i will put the water in it depends on how much sauce you want then i will add the pounded chili onion and shrimp paste it's it's as in malay say asam rebus it means to boil and i will put a couple of the tamarind dried tamarind I like it a little bit sourish, so I'm gonna put more and stir. I will also add the great the uh, rice, the great the roasted rice powder, and the yam, and I will put the laksa leaf in for flavor. And just let it boil. Add some salt. Okay, it's nicely boiling now. The sauce has really thickened because of the uh, roasted rice powder that I grounded. Actually, in Malaysia, they use the stem of the yam, um, which is like rhubarb and deliciously soft when it's boiled. Unfortunately, we can't find that here in Germany, so I have only used the, um, the yam itself. Okay, it's done. Okay, so here is the nasi ulam and here is the yam uh, asam rebus. So this is how I will serve it, some rice, and here's what we do. We squ squeeze a little bit of lime juice on top just to give it a bit more tang, just a little bit. And then just put some of the yam asam rebus on the side, on the sauce. So I'm ready to try it. Mmm, pretty good if I may say so. So, enjoy trying this out and hope it will turn out right for you. Thank you. Mm. I can go for Tom Yum. Mango. Mango sticky rice. Oh, let's yeah. get one of those. Let's get one of those. Oh, the tom yum is in a coconut. Yeah. Oh, that's special. I'm gonna have tom yum in a coconut. What is okay. New York? I don't know. That means inside a coconut.
Can York meat inside the coconut? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't oh. think it's Ivana's healthy week. She's got Probably dessert <laughs> and another dessert. <laughs> So this you is never a tried mango sticky rice. Never. Me neither. Oh, this is from Thailand, right? Yeah, it's very popular. I don't know if it's from Thailand, but it's really popular in Thailand. So and it's it's go. a very sweet dessert, like coconut rice, mm -hmm. with coconut milk. I think they make it. And mango. And mango. Of course. I mean, it looks good. What is this stuff? Actually, I never saw this on top of it before. Ah, this is a Malaysian twist, maybe. Yeah, maybe a Malaysian well, it's layer. Really good, yeah. I mean, Let's it looks it. good. It's coconut, mango, and <laughs> rice. What could be better than that? Mm. Oh, Ivana, that looks good. Let's see. Mm. Amazing. Is it good? How oh, good. You know what it reminds me of? Uh, pulut durian. <laughs> it reminds me of pulut durian. This is pulut manga. Pulut, oh, okay, it is. Mango sticky rice. It is, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks good, Ivana. Can I try yeah. a little yeah. Yeah, 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 don't be shy, don't be shy. Spoon? Oh, yeah, first spoon. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a uh, Thailand la veteran. The last time I had it was last year in Thailand. So you can tell us if it's uh, authentic. Yeah. It tastes like Thailand. It's a mango. Mm. Oh, it's pretty good. Wow. It's good. Oh, the, the coconut flavor. Wow, amazing. It's good, right? Mm. Super good. <laughs> Super good. Super sedap. Mm -hmm. Super sedap. Wow. Try it. Ten. Mango. Rice and coconut and some mystery yellow seeds. Uh, if we were smart, we would know what that was. Can we figure it out? No clue. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it's yeah. warm. Yeah. <laughs> I was really expecting cold. <laughs> some kind of dessert, cool ice cream, <laughs> ABC type thing. Oh, it's quite good, but it's warm. Um, it's good, right? Yeah, it's quite good. Is there any sugar in this? I don't think so. Yeah, I think the, the coconut milk is uh, with sugar. Coconut yeah. milk is with yeah. sugar. This, yeah, good. this really good. one or pulled durian? Pulled durian. Pull durian. Durian. Durian is the best fruit in the whole world. <laughs> Ken? No, I totally disagree <laughs> with that. <laughs> mm. This is good. Good, right? Five stars. Wow. Wow. Look at that. It's actually a big portion. Is that food or art? <laughs> This might cost 30 ring. That's okay, don't be afraid. Wow. Look at this, guys. This is really something. This is a masterpiece. Look at this. You got squid in there. You got all the fixins onions, Ooh. tomatoes, green stuff. You got shrimp over here. Wow. Should say prawns because I'm in Malaysia. It looks spicy. It's in a coconut. Oh. This is really special. It looks like the best tom yum I will ever have. Best tom yum you'll ever have. Let's <laughs> dig in. Look at the soup. Very oily and delicious. Classic tom yam, orange and red. Oh, that's good tom yam. Very sour. Very sour. Oh, it's good spicy? tom yam. Very spicy, sour. sour, beautiful, and delicious. What more could you want? Wow. So, obviously, five stars. Amazing Tom Yam. Gua Kelam, uh, this is another na natural uh, attraction which is uh, back to nature. You was able to see Salad Salad Site and Salad Mine in the cave. And it's definitely one of the top police tourist attraction. So the first time I made this Kwe Phiang Ai, very popular in Perlis, I've never heard of it in my part of Malaysia, but it was so delicious, I couldn't wait to make it again. But I did use shredded frozen coconut back then. In Malaysia, typically you use fresh coconut, fresh grated coconut. Hard to get a hold of that here in Australia. So I use frozen shredded coconut. This time around, I don't even have that. So I'm using desiccated coconut instead. Very easy, just four ingredients. And we've got some desiccated coconut here. And to that, I'm going to add some water. A couple of water, so add half of this. Let's mix this up. Let's add a little bit of salt to this. And a little bit more water. And now we're gonna add glutinous rice flour. Just mix it in. And sugar. Mm. 
So if you were using fresh coconut or frozen coconut, you wouldn't need to add water. Because we're using desiccated coconut, we just needed to add a bit of water to help it stick together. Okay, so you can lay this out in a baking pan. So I've got a, a muffin tray here. And I'm just going to brush it with some melted butter. So now these are all greased. And I'm just going to spoon these into these molds. I'm using a bit less sugar in this batch than I did in the previous one. So I don't feel so guilty eating these. So what you want to do is just pack these in. Okay. So this is going in the oven for about 30 minutes and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is 30 minutes later in a 160 degree Celsius oven. So depending on your personal preference, you can have it a little bit browner or a little bit lighter and you just want to pop them out. There you go. Now the idea with this is it's meant to be crunchy on the outside and chewy and sweet on the inside. Apparently, nowadays, some people actually make this just in their sandwich maker, the jaffle maker, what we call jaffle maker here in Australia. So give it a shot, really, really easy and very, very, uh, very Moorish, very delicious. Okay. And I thought about today, Perlis looks really beautiful. I mean, the past days we are driving around and it's incredibly beautiful. It's green, you have mountains, you have a lake over there very very beautiful and I thought about what is the, the most beautiful state in Malaysia and I think maybe for me police is the most beautiful state in Malaysia